Good morning, Bible Baptist Church family. Just wanted to share a few thoughts with you today to encourage you during this time. And the Bible says in Romans chapter 5 and verse number 3, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh not ashamed. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. The Holy Spirit of God helps us during times like this. God comforts us by his spirit. You know, our attitude is not determined by our circumstances. Some people I find are joyful during times of great trial, and then others can be even discontent when they have plenty in their lives. But our attitudes are determined by our view of those circumstances that are happening in our lives. If we look at these hard times as something that's unfair or surprising, we're, we will be likely to allow them to, in a sense, kind of drag us down. But on the other hand, if we view these times, even hard times, as part of God's purpose for our lives, we'll be more likely to keep the joy that we have in the Lord. Nothing ever happens that takes God by surprise. Uh, we in our lives, I think, sometimes might get blindsided by things that we didn't see coming, but God never is. And, and while there are times that the plan of God in our lives might involve us going through a hardship or a trial, there's never a time where we get there accidentally. You see, those hardships, uh, uh, trials are a uh, an opportunity for our faith to grow, for God's power to be on display. And we think about how that Peter was writing to people in the New Testament. Peter was writing to people that were literally being killed, martyred for their faith in Christ. And he writes these words, rejoice in as much as you are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. You know, our lives are, are really a tapestry that God is weaving. Uh, we're a work in progress, and that tapestry of our lives includes both light and dark threads, uh, happy times and sad times. And all of that is to produce a richness, a texture, a color that our lives in the end are a beautiful thing. Nothing can ever come into our lives, your life or mine, without God's permission. Everything that happens is Father filtered. And God is an expert of bringing something good out of even something that is bad. You think about Paul and his life, God could have kept Paul from going to uh, the Philippian jail, uh, to a time of prison, but God didn't keep him out, and the result of him going to prison was the Philippian jailer got saved. I think about how God let his son Jesus go to the cross. God could have stopped that, not allowed that, but yet he let his own son suffer and die. Was there any good that came out of that? Well, certainly. I, you think about our life today, how rich it is and the hope we have because of Jesus' death, burial, and his resurrection. God loves to take a crucifixion and turn it into a resurrection. And the things that sometimes we wish were removed from our lives are the very things that God is using to shape us and to make us into what he wants us to be. God wants to use that problem that's going on in your life for good. He wants to bring something good out of it. There's something more important than your pain. And it's what are you learning out of this? What are you learning from the pain? Have you learned yet that God is in control? The Bible says again, as Peter writes in 1 Peter 1, verse 6, he writes, you, wherein you greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial or the trying of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, 
though it is tried with fire, that it might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. And so I, I look at these admonitions from the Word of God and these thoughts this morning as, again, God is in control. God, we, we a lot of times look at the bad and we think, what in the world is going on? Remember that nothing that is going on is not out of God's control, that God knows exactly what he's doing. And I just want to encourage you today, church family, continue to keep your eyes on the Lord and continue to pray for one another. We're praying for you and we certainly miss you. It is quiet around here. But I uh, also wanted to remind you, don't forget to join us tonight, seven o'clock for our discipleship, our continued discipleship uh, through live stream. Tonight's subject is on the Holy Spirit of God. I think it's going to be a great study. Look forward to sharing some thoughts with you tonight. And until then, have a great day, and we look forward to seeing you this evening.